Hey everybody, in this video in the Linux Fundamentals, we're going to learn how to add our server to Active Directory. Now, in the past, I would use, let me go to this, because I think this should be helpful. I used to just use uh, PBIS, PBIS open. This was what I would I would use as a choice for adding my Linux servers to Active Directory. Now this was this was great, and the problem is now it's no longer being it's been archived. You can see the repository has been archived. It's read only, so they're no longer supporting it. So. I would not recommend any more using this. Yeah, you can, of course, use Beyond Trust commercial software. It's pretty good. It should run fine, but we're not going to do that in this video because we're going to keep this open. So what we want to do is I've spun up a AD server in here this DC001 or 01. Let's make sure that's working. Okay, I have a, all I have is a administrator user right now. I just set this up. So let's look at what our, let's get our uh, IP address on this one. We're going to need this IP 1010.200.100. So we're going to have to make sure that this resolves that address in DNS. So to set up DNS, we're going to look at cat etsy resolve.conf. And you can see right now the name server is 8.8.8. .8 so we're going to have to change that. So let's, uh, let's VI. And we'll change the name server to 10.10.200.100. .10 okay. Okay, now that we have that done, we have to make sure that we can see what did we name this, this domain. Let's look at this. Let's open server manager. So this is Eve domain .lab. So let's do see if, see if we can see that Eve domain .lab. Make sure that's looking good. And there it is. It's recognizing 10.10.200.100 as Eve domain .lab. So that looks good. So our next goal is to install all the packages we need. So let's do this. So we're going to need realm AD, ADCLI, SSSD, odd job, odd job, make home dir. Sam Samba dash common tools and we'll also need the Kerberos Kerberos five workstation and the auth select compat. Okay. Okay, so you gotta spell Realm AD correctly. Realm AD. I put an A in there. Real Mad, not Realm AD. No, that looks right, actually. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not. Realm AD, it's Realm D. It's okay. My mistake. 
All right, so let's try that. And it's going to install all these packages. So that should take about a minute. So once we have all these packages installed, we should be able to run some commands with Realm to see if it can see the network, see the Active Directory network, and then we'll, we'll test if it can connect to it. And then we will attempt to join this, this system to this AD domain. Yeah, so before with uh, PBIS, it would just be you install the, you add the repository to the system and then just do a DNF install PBIS and then just run some commands to create the home directory the way you want to. And it was, it was pretty straightforward. I, I like that way, but this way is a, a little bit different and I'm just trying this out and seeing how this works, but I think it should be relatively simple. We're just installing a bunch of packages and uh, Realm D helps us configure some of these packages, SSSD. Let's see what that is. Let's look more into that. So SSSD. So that's the system security services daemon. Let me look at Wikipedia here. So this is to access remote directory services and authentication mechanisms. And it's using free API, free IPA, which is a open source management system and also uses the upstream for Red Hat identity management, which I have not used. I've not used Red Hat identity management. I should probably take a look at it. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so we're all, everything's installed. So let's see if we can realm discover. And this is eve domain.lab. Okay, so it's finding it, it found it, type Kerberos eve domain.lab domain name configured no it knows it's active directory sssd odd job we installed those and all those required packages are installed so we did that so that's good so let's try to join this let's see how this goes join user is going to be in my case, administrator. That's the only user I have. And it's going to be eve domain.lab. And it's going to ask me for my password. And it's going to wait a few minutes. Let's see how this this is going. And that looks, that looks pretty solid. It looks like maybe it just worked. Um, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Let's go over here. Active directory, users and computers. And let's look in this the computers folder and there it is rocky 001 
All right, so that's that's pretty nice. It just joined. Let's now let's see on this side. If we run a realm list. It's going to show us Eve Domain Lab, Kerberos. It's a member, Active Directory, and login formats. So user at Eve Domain Lab. So let's let's try that. Let's create. Hmm, what do we want to do here? Well, let's okay. Yeah, let's try this out. So I've got this system. Let's do this. Yeah, let's uh, create a new one. Let's bring up a new terminal. And what I want to do is I want to SSH. Let's see how can I, let's see how we can do this. Administrator. Can I just let's SSH just right to it? So ten dot ten two hundred dot ninety. Oh, it's just gonna send root. Um okay. Let's see, dash U for user. Administrator, admin, administrator at eve domain dot lab. Okay, it doesn't like that. So man ssh. Let's see what we need to do. Man, SSH, let's see. So we need So we're looking for user. Let's see if we can just find that. User, users. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Or URI, the user must prove their identity. Right, right, right. So can I do a user with an at in it? All right, let me just try that. Yeah, I didn't think that would necessarily work. Uh, can I escape that? No. Okay. Okay, let me try this. Let's try... So I still have... I still have that dash U there. Uh, let me get rid of that and just do dash L for login name. Okay. Okay, that works. And there, look, look at that. Home administrator at eve domain dot lab. So... It even created the SU. I should not be able to, but you can probably. So we should be able to add a user though. So there I am logged in. It's joined to the domain. You can see that here, over here, Active Directory. Uh, let's go through a few more things in, in the next video. I'm going to break this up a little bit. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one.